Hi guys, it's Andy from the Postpartum Closet here today and today I wanted to talk to you about packing a personal item for a budget carrier like Spirit or Frontier. On these airlines you are allowed to bring one single item and that item can be 18 by 14 by 8. You are not allowed to bring any other items in addition uh, like a laptop bag or a purse or anything of that nature at all. So you've got to make sure that everything fits in one single bag. And I have found, I've previously done another video on the top eight uh, personal item bags and I will link that uh, right above here if you want to check that video out. Um, but I have recently discovered a new bag and I used this on a recent trip and I really liked it. Uh, this is called the Steamboat by Lug and it's got a ton of organization. The dimensions are 18 by 14 by 8. Uh, you'll notice that I've mentioned this bag in previous, uh, this brand, I'm sorry, in previous videos, and the reason for that is because I love the brand. They're super organized, um, they've got a place for everything, and it makes packing a lot easier in travel. Uh, it makes a lot easier, actually, too. So I'm going to go ahead and show you everything that I've got in this bag. Again, this is a Lug Steamboat, and this is in the, I believe they call it Navy. Um, it's a dark blue uh, with black accents and uh, so far I really like it. Uh, so let me get to it. So again I mentioned that this bag is 18 by 14 by 8. Um, it's got a couple, a couple of pockets at the front and I'm just going to go through and show you all of them. So there is a pocket right here, a zippered pocket. There's uh, a bigger pocket here. There is uh, one main compartment here and that's where the bulk of your things are and then there's another pocket back here um, and on the back oh let me show you the sides on the sides you'll see that there are two pockets here which is great if you pick up a bottle of water or something in the airport or if you've got an umbrella or anything like that those just slip right in and on the back this is a, a bag with handles with a uh, a shoulder strap or a crossbody strap and this is another one of the bags that is convertible so you'll see in here there are backpack straps that just come out and they attach to the bottom of the bag here so if you are wearing it through the airport and you find that your shoulder is getting tired you can just switch it to backpack backpack mode and it's pretty easy so I'm going to show you what I've got here in this uh, back compartment this one is padded and I believe it is actually uh, intended for use as a tech pocket kind of. Um, it's got this printed lining in here um, and what I've got in here is my 13 inch MacBook um, and that fits really well in there. It also fits my 15 inch work laptop. Uh, the other thing you'll see in here is um, a crossbody bag and this is what I use as a purse when I fly uh, Spirit because it's really flat and it fits in there with no problem. That's all I've got in that pocket. Um, if I take you back to the front of the bag, you will see uh, this small pocket here. And in here, I've got uh, this travel accordion wallet from the brand Dagny Dover. Um, it's in the color Sienna. And in here, there's just a couple of card slots. I've got a Starbucks card, and it fits a passport perfectly. And it also fits a boarding pass if you're okay with folding it, which is typically what I do. And it just snaps shut with a magnet, but it's flat, pretty thin, and it just slips in most pockets relative, relatively easy, easily. The other things I have in here are a small hand lotion, um, a hand sanitizer, a small pack of breath strips, and a lipstick. Those are kind of my quick grab items whenever I'm out. In this bigger pocket, this one's really cool. I love the organization in it. Oh, I've got my uh, TSA compliant clear bag with all of my liquid items, uh, three ounces or less. And I'm going to flip this pocket open so you can see it. Right here you'll see there are two big uh, clear zippered compartments, clear zippered compartments. And I like this bag for short trips with brand, uh, with flat airlines, excuse me, like Spirit, because I can slip my jewelry and I don't have to carry a separate jewelry case or travel jewelry case with me. Uh, on the front you'll see, I hope you can see that, yeah, there are a couple of pen loops and I've just got pens in there. There is also a key leash attached. I've got key leash and there's some card slots here if you can see. I don't however have any cards in here. Just 
take up the pen so I can show you what's down here. Um, in here, I have just stuck some items I might need in flight. That's Those are my eyeglasses and a contact case so I can take off my contacts if need be. Um, <clears throat> and in this pocket, I've just got two small coin purses that I use for different purposes. This one has feminine items, and this one is kind of like a mini med kit. It's really small, but in it I have... Uh, Let's see, uh, off mosquito wipes. I have um, an alcohol swipe pad, uh, little packets of painkillers. This is Excedrin, uh, shout to go wipes. I've also got uh, band aids in here, as well as a small pair of tweezers. And that's just in case of any sort of small emergencies. Uh, I like to have something with me. Um, and that's all that I've got in this front pocket. And that's uh, my jewelry for the weekend, just some costume jewelry to dress up some outfits. Uh, this right here is a signature pocket with uh, this brand as well, and my phone fits in there perfectly. It fits phones of most sizes. My hand goes pretty far in there, so I don't think anybody would have an issue with their phone fitting. Uh, that's that pocket, and it closes with a magnet, and I really like it because if you're wearing this bag on your shoulder, it's, you always know where your phone is, which is awesome. So this is the main compartment of the bag that I'm going to go into now. And it's got the same lining there. It's pretty easy to flip these back so you can see. And this is how I've got it packed. So I'm going to show you what all of this is. This right here is a dot and dot tech case. And I will open it up. Um, I really like this one. It looks like this. Once you've got it open, I've just got some cables in here. Uh, in here, I've got a backup battery charger, a backup battery pack, and in this one, I've got um, a small set of earbuds that work with most airlines, uh, you know, little seat back entertainment thing. Spirit typically doesn't have it, but I do like to keep it in here just in case. Uh, this is a set that is specific to iPhones with that little adapter in it, and then this is the charging cable for my computer. So that is the Travel Tech Organizer. Um, so far it's been really good. I got this one from Amazon and I can link it below if anybody is interested in checking it out. Okay, the other item I have in here is my uh, pretty compact makeup bag. This is also from the brand Lug and this is called the Double Decker. This is in the Aloha Navy print and you'll see on the outside um, it's got a little handle pretty small. Um, it's got a little wipeable bottom and it's got two layers, hence the name Double Decker. Um, and I'm going to save this for the end in case uh, you are not a makeup wearer. Um, you may not be interested in what's in here, but I'll save this for the end. Uh, so if you are interested in seeing what's in here, just keep watching to the end. Okay, the other things I have in here are... Um, I've just stuck my pajamas in the side pocket here. Um, and I've got my personal items, uh, my undergarments in the other side pocket. There are two big, uh, two big uh, elasticized pockets on the side of the bag and they can fit quite a bit. Um, in here, I've got uh, two pairs of shoes, I've got a pair of heels, and I've got a pair of flats. And uh, they fit in there with no problem, uh, if you can see. Um, and I've got those in neutral colors so that they match all of my outfits. Um, so I always carry with me a pair of flats, a pair of heels, and I usually typically wear a pair of uh, neutral sneakers on my flight. So in this case I'll be wearing white Converse because I'll match with a lot of my clothes. Um, and this bag is a shoe bag. I got this from Amazon as well in a set of 10 for I think, I mean, I'm sorry, a set of five for I think 10 bucks. Um, and I can link that down below. Um, if you've seen my other video, you've probably seen these already, but I really like them. All right, um, so this big guy here is where I've got all of my clothes. And um, let me just set that aside. And you'll see, uh, that's the big main cavern of the bag. There's a back slip zippered pocket back here, sorry. And um, I've got this this guy. This is um, sold in a set with this packing cube along with slim cubes. 
Um, I didn't use the slim cubes today. Um, I packed all of my clothes in a medium cube, but this comes in a set with uh, two small cubes as well as a shoe bag. And I'm not using the shoe bag as a shoe bag today because I plan to use it for laundry at my destination. So I'll just put my dirty items in here so that they don't get mixed in with my clean items. Um, yeah, so this is the main cavern of the bag. Lots of space. Um, and it, again, it's 18 by 14 by 8, so I think it makes a really good pick for a personal item with spirit. Uh, but let me show you what I've got in here in case you're interested. Um, I'm not going to take every item out, but at least you can see how I've got everything in here and what fits. So this is, again, the medium Gonex packing cube, and I will link it down below. And you're going to see here, I've got all of my clothes folded uh, pretty small. I've, I folded them to fit the width of the packing cube, and I've got quite a bit in here. Um, this is an animal print cardigan, um, and I like this because I can fit it with a few different items. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, kind of what's in here. This is an animal print cardigan. This is classic uh, dark denim. This is a black uh, distressed pair of denim. Um, this is a chambray button-down shirt. This is a white three-quarter sleeve t-shirt. This is a v-neck kind of mauve color shirt with um, kind of like a faux knot detail at the front. Uh, this is a printed short sleeve shirt. Uh, this is a printed dress with a three-quarter sleeve and this is a black cotton jersey dress. And so my plan with these items is to mix and match basically. Um, this cardigan can go with the denim and the white tee. It can also go with the black dress uh, to make it a little more casual. The black dress can be worn with the cardigan or on its own uh, for the evening time with some jewelry. Um, the chambray shirt goes with the black. Uh, the mauve shirt goes with the black or the denim. Uh, basically, I plan to mix and match all of these items to get a few outfits out of it. Um, and it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. This is the size of the entire cube. And with jewelry and shoes, I think it will work for everything. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you now what's in my makeup bag. I think that's the only thing I haven't shown you. And this is the makeup bag again. It's got two layers. On the top layer, uh, I will show you. It looks like this. I don't want to drop anything. I've got a pair of eyelash curlers. Is that a pair or just an eyelash curler? Uh, a foldable brush. I've got my brushes in here, um, and if you can see, I hope you can see that, this is like a nice wipeable material. A lot, of, a lot of makeup bags kind of get a little gross after a little while once makeup gets on it, but this is completely wipeable, which I really like. Um, up at the top here, there's another pocket, and in here um, I've got individually wrapped makeup wipes, and I like these for shorter trips or trips where I don't have a lot of space because they take up uh, pretty much no space at all. Um, I've got quite a few of them in here and they just zip away. So that's the top layer of this bag. And in the bottom layer, right here, uh, I will show you what I've got. I hope you can see that. Um, down here, I've got uh, an under eye setting powder from Too Faced. I've got a small eyeshadow at excuse me, eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty. And I really like this because of the size. It's perfect for these kinds of trips where you don't want to bring too big of a palette. Um, I've got a Becca blush, a Becca highlighter, a ColourPop eyeshadow. Um, this is my favorite one, so I always bring it along with another palette. And this right here is my foundation and my uh, one of my top tips, I would say, is if you're traveling and you don't want to bring a whole lot with you, uh, just go up to um, either Sephora or whatever makeup counter uh, you typically use and just get a sample of your regular foundation in a container or just ask them for a container and they're usually pretty happy to give it to you. You can see um, it holds quite a bit of foundation, more than enough for probably even a week. And so that's not all I've got. Up here, there's another pocket, and this one uh, holds quite a bit. It doesn't look like it, but it's got like a separate little section, uh, a gusset, I guess you'd call it, and that fits even more. So once I pull that back, you'd see that I've got back here a uh, concealer, a uh, ColourPop lipstick, a uh, MAC lipstick, an EOS lip balm, uh, Too Faced Mascara, 
uh, Too Faced Liquid Eyeliner. I hope you can see that. And the last item is an Urban Decay uh, pencil liner, and I just use that for my waterline. So this is a uh, really minimal makeup, but it basically works, and I've got pretty much everything that I need um, for a short trip away. So <clears throat> that is everything I packed. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do want to see uh, more detailed information or if you have any requests or questions, please leave them in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a like and a thumbs up. It helps me tremendously. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching.